Hello and welcome back to another edition of Thrift With Me. This is going to be part two of my three part postpartum thrift haul series. I've gone a little bit crazy with the whole thrifting <laughs> since I had my last born child, Ivy. Again, I thought I wasn't going to have any time to do it and now I'm finding that I am desperate to do it again. Today I'm going to be focusing on like mom and pop thrift stores. So this isn't like Goodwill or even Salvation Army. It's more like one-offs. A lot of these are from a small thrift shop that I found just outside of Ashland, Nebraska. And some other ones are from a little church thrift shop that is here in Omaha. So let's get started. You want to get it for me? to line up my thrift store hauls with my thrift store videos. I've just decided that I'm actually going to make a fourth video as kind of like a try on haul with all of the clothes that I have found at these places. With that, I'm going to start with clothing, which there's only a couple pieces from this haul. So first I'm gonna start with this 100% linen top that I found from Jones, New York. It is a size large, so it's a little bit large on me, but honestly, it's great. Uh, you can't go wrong with linen, even if it's a little bit oversized. And so I was excited to find this. I had another shirt like this, but it was cotton. It wasn't linen. So y'all, that one's out. 
this one is in. When I was there, all of their tops were two bucks, so that's how much this cost. Okay, so I actually really lucked out by finding these. I found two identical pairs of Levi's, and these are, they're a little bit large, but they do fit me since I'm postpartum. And, um, but they were super long. They're 36 inches long because they're men's. And so what I did is I just cropped them at the bottom and y'all, I've gotten more compliments on these pants than I think I've ever gotten on a pair of pants in my life. So great find. And these jeans were $1. All of their jeans were on sale. So I got both pairs for two bucks. I found these precious little glasses, you guys. How cool are these? I actually already have an amber glass set that we usually use for everything, but Josh makes our girls smoothies every Saturday. So I thought that these could be fun to drink smoothies out of. And that way if they break them, they're not breaking the set that I already have. <laughs> these glasses were, well, I can't, okay. So I can't remember if they were 25 cents or 50 cents each, but either way, I mean, they were so cheap. Okay, so I mentioned in the last video that I have been obsessed with pottery lately. So with that, you know, I couldn't pass up this beautiful pot that I found. This again was at the little church thrift shop. This was $2. I just loved this little speckled glaze that they have on it and it kind of continues into the inside. It was just such a pretty bowl. I couldn't pass it up. Okay, so my last item from the church thrift store, it has this like crazy plant hanging out of it, but it was this plant or this little uh, pot. <laughs> So this was only a buck and I also got some jewelry and stuff for the girls just like they love costume jewelry but I have no idea where any of it is. They seriously wear it all the time. It gets left on their clothes. It's all over our floors and I am not going to round all that up to show you guys. Just trust me it was cute. <laughs> but yeah this was one dollar for this so not too bad. All right, and last item from the church thrift shop were these little two candle holders. There were candles in them, but I'm pretty sure that the girls stole them. <laughs> so <laughs> Lord knows where those are, but there's more candles coming up next. Okay, so these I actually got from the small town thrift store, the one that was right outside of Ashland, Nebraska. Yeah, I got a bunch of these like tall candles for a dollar. So there are like a little bit of, if you can tell, there's like some light, like staining, some light coloring on them. But honestly, I don't really care. I don't buy these just to have them up. I buy them to burn them. These are just going to get burned anyway. So why not have some weird stains on them, right? <laughs> For a dollar, you really can't go too wrong. All right. You know what? I think I'm going to stick these in here and have this be what holds them. This is a little crock that I found. Love that blue. It's the same blue that's throughout my whole kitchen. Uh, this was a little bit pricier. This was actually $8, but $8 for an antique crock is really not too bad. I love it. It goes perfectly with our kitchen. And so I, I didn't even hesitate. I just bought it. I found this cute little lamp, you guys. I'm not sure if I'm going to use it in the girls' room or if I'll use it in the basement after our tenant moves out. But I just thought it was so pretty. It's got this lovely rose detail on it. Got that gold base. And I just thought it was adorable. I think it was, oh, I still got the tag on it. Okay, so it was listed at $4, but a lot of the stuff at this place was 50% off. So I wound up getting this for two bucks. I found a vent. <laughs> uh, this vent was also at the, the thrift store out by Ashland. It's got a, a slight little bit of rust on it, but honestly, we just got a regular vent in our kitchen. And so I got this to go over that vent because all of the vents, here, let me see if I can show you. Oh no, it's covered up. Okay, anyway, all of the vents in our home are like that super ornate, white, pretty metal vents like this. And so I thought I would get this to match the rest of our house. And lastly, I got this cute fossil bag. Um, I love it, it's made out of real leather and look at that stitching. It's just such a great quality bag and I was just super excited about it. And it's a little bit funkier than what I usually wear, but y'all, I'm down with this. I loved it and you know what, it's funny. I actually found more candles in it. So there were even more candles than what you saw. All right, everyone, that is it for the mom and pop portion of this thrift haul. As you can see, it was enough just to be its own video. There is one more segment left and that is going to be the garage sales and Facebook marketplace portion. So stay tuned. That's going to be coming up next. And then after that, I'm going to have a try on haul with all of the clothes. There's going to be a lot more clothes in this next portion. So Stay tuned. Everyone, if you enjoy what you saw today, please subscribe, hit that like button, share it, comment. Let me know if you have any of these pieces, if you want any of these pieces. Let me know your favorite mom and pop thrift store in your city. All right, guys, thank you so much for joining me today. Have a good one.